Collecting a urine sample is a rather simple procedure and should take you no more than a few minutes to complete. To ensure the accuracy of your test, make sure to review the collection chart on the instructions that came with your test to determine when you collect your sample. Also, please refer to the dietary considerations in the instructions for foods you should avoid when doing various tests. For example, you should avoid certain foods prior to neurotransmitter testing. You should also be aware of certain supplements when testing elements. Hormone users need to plan their supplementation doses for certain tests. Those testing the month-long cycle map need only collect once per day. Specific details will be in your kit instructions. Here are the key steps to a good collection. First, wash your hands with soap and dry them with a clean towel prior to handling the contents of the kit. Next, lay out the materials that came in your test kit. For elements testing, there will be two urine collection cards, one to be used in the morning upon waking and the second to be used at bedtime. For neurotransmitter and hormone metabolite tests, there will be four cards. The first is to be used immediately after waking, which will be your first void of the day. The second is to be used about two hours after the first, the third just before dinner, and the fourth at bedtime. Those testing the month-long cycle map need only collect once per day. Make sure you don't drink too much liquid in the hour before collecting samples or your urine will be too dilute. Limit fluids to eight ounces during this time. Print your name, date, and time of collection on the urine collection card with an ink pen. Next, pick up the collection card and fold the cover back and away from the filter paper. Make sure not to touch the filter paper. There are two ways to collect urine on the filter card. The first and easiest way is to urinate directly on the filter card. The second method is to urinate into a clean cup and then dip the filter card up to the top black line. Hang to dry for at least six hours with the cover folded back and away from the filter paper. For neurotransmitter tests, do not leave samples out for more than 24 hours. Once your sample is dry, carefully refold the collection card and place it back into the plastic bag. Make sure your collection card is completely dry. Samples that are still wet may be rejected by the lab. If your kit came with an absorbent pouch, make sure to keep it in the bag. Follow this process for the remaining collection cards. Finally, you'll need to complete all sections of the test requisition and sign your form. Be sure to include the collection time and date. It is important to indicate any current hormones or supplements on your requisition form. If you are unsure of the dosage, please consult with your physician or pharmacist. Premenopausal women, please remember to include the first day of your last menses in Section 2. Place the plastic bag containing the collection cards and the completed test requisition form back inside the test kit. Snap the lid shut. Place the entire test kit inside the return packaging. Attach the provided prepaid label or other postage if required and then return using the appropriate carrier. If you have any questions regarding your collection, please call or email our customer service department.